Okay, so this piece, the wall piece that you did with aerosol, uh, it appears that it's um, not straight graffiti. It, it seems almost like there's some other influences involved in it. Can you maybe tell me about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been doing uh, graffiti for quite a long time, and um, I've been doing collage for a really long time, and for a long time they didn't really, they just kind of ran parallel to each other and didn't really inform each other. Uh, then in the early 90s I did a magazine uh, that was comprised of graffiti, and, and that was kind of the first time that I started doing, uh, you know, kind of uh, graffiti kind of narrative collages. Uh, fast forward to a couple years ago, um, you know, as I continue to work on uh, my collages and also paint, I uh, I started to uh, instead of the graffiti just you know solely informing the collage work. The collage work has now kind of come around full circle to inform what I paint. So this particular piece and a bunch of pieces like it that I've done over the last two years are um, you know there's still a lot of very traditional, especially new, like kind of traditional New York graffiti elements to them. Uh, but at the same time, I totally changed my style and turned it into, uh, like I said, something more in influenced by the collage. And so I've kind of pulled colors from my collages and have pulled uh, fragments and layering. And, and so basically a lot of the letters are broken up into bits and pieces. Whereas uh, maybe before some of the pieces I do, the letters would be kind of solid, full through letters. Now it's, uh, now it's really about just like fragmenting everything and breaking it up. And that's really a direct influence from my collage work. Nice. Cool. And um, so this uh, Krylon piece, can you maybe talk about this? It, I get a, it reminds me obviously of the Brillo boxes by Warhol. Yeah, well it's, there's, definitely, there's definitely that is part of the inspiration. It's really just um, one of these things that I just kind of had the idea to do because, uh, you know, obviously, uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's certain influence from the Brillo boxes and stuff like that, but I kind of was thinking of it more like, you know, a lot of the Andy Warhol stuff is, you know, soup cans and Brillo boxes and, and more like, um, you know, grocery store items and things of that nature. So I thought, you know, it would be cool to do something in that vein, but with kind of like graffiti materials and stuff like that instead of like household materials. Exactly. And it's related to your work. Right, right. Yeah. So, yeah. So I kind of, and this this particular Krylon box is, 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 a, repli is, is a, a, a replica of what the Krylon boxes looked in like the late 70s, early 80s. Um, they look relatively similar now, but they're not, they're not owned by Borden anymore. You know, I mean, the thing with graffiti is that there's so many, you know, people collect paint, they collect the old markers, they collect these old things because now it's like a lot of nostalgia kind of tied into a lot of the older materials. So I kind of thought, well, you know, hey, let's try, you know, I, this was kind of the first one. I ha haven't really gotten to the other ones because I wanted to do some other editions that might be prints and stuff like that. But, uh, but yeah, this is really just, you know, somewhat kind of a riff on the, on the Warhol thing, but also to, you know, be put in another context of like, you know, graffiti tools and things of that nature, so. Sure. Let's move over to the, the city to, this is the city to city oh, piece? Oh, yeah, no, actually that's it. They, oh. they, this doesn't, I never even named this yet. Ah. Uh, what, can you tell me the genesis for the idea of this piece or how this piece came about? Um, yeah, I mean, basically, you know, I do a lot of uh, commercial work and obviously I work uh, a lot with letters and so in kind of realizing some of these uh, ideas and stuff that I had, I've you know, moved into abstraction and kind of moved into, you know, just the shapes that letters make when they're kind of, uh, you know, together. And so this particular piece is actually, um, it's a little bit changed because it's, it's somewhat from a, a commercial job that I did, uh, and uh, which said a bunch of words kind of put together. And then sometimes when I do a lot of those things, I often on the computer kind of, you know, zoom in on them and look at different fragments and find little areas that I think are very interesting. And so I had about five or six that I really like to do that I really want to do as a series of paintings. And so, but I just haven't really had the time to do it. And, and then when this, uh, this particular space, this, this particular panel that was here, I thought, and also in conjunction with that, you guys have an inordinate amount of bucket paint downstairs. Mm -hmm. I kind of felt like, oh, this might be the perfect place. And I didn't really realize this prior to coming here that I was gonna do this particular thing, uh, but, uh, but yeah, just, you know, with everything in place, I was like, oh, I should really do this in brush paint. There's part of me that tries to be careful not to be too influenced by things. I mean, obviously, you know, we kind of, you know, there's a lot of people that look at stuff and, you know, say, oh, everything's been done already. And, mm. and there's, you know, obviously some truth to that. But, you know, I always kind of look at it as like, well, you know, if you had that kind of attitude, then you would never really do anything. Because, I mean, I always kind of think of it like, 
you know, I mean, I'm not necessarily an abstract painter, but obviously there's plenty of people who do abstract paintings today, and it's like, that would be like kind of saying to them, like, oh, you know, these guys already did abstract really well, so, like, you should just drop that now, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I just look at it as more of a part of, of being a part of a lineage, you know, and kind of hoping, a adding something to that lineage and, 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 and even adding something to, you know, just in general. Um, cool. Well, to end off, I'll just ask, uh, and how's your experience been here at the Graffiti Gallery? Uh, Oh, it's been great. I mean, uh, everyone's been really helpful and super, super supportive. And uh, and yeah, even at the opening, I mean, it was really had uh, just a ton of really great conversations with people that really, really were excited to see the show and really wanted to be here. And you know, that's that's always you know a wonderful thing. You know, when people are uh, really enthusiastic about what you're doing and stuff like that. And you know, obviously. Uh, you know, I've I've never been here before, so there was also an element of like, hey, you know, it's nice to have you here, and so um, yeah, it's been really great. I mean, uh, I guess that's one of the benefits of, of being an artist uh, at, uh, where you've achieved, achieved the level that you have, in that you can travel with your art, and uh, uh, that's I guess one of the pro benefits of being an artist. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, it's really only been the last uh, year or so that I, that 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 aspect of my work and traveling and doing a lot of shows outside of the country. Uh, has been really happening, so I, yeah, I feel very fortunate to be able to have these opportunities, and and every opportunity is uh, is priceless because it's like you know basically you know yeah I mean in one sense you could say well I haven't seen much of Winnipeg because I've been here working, but in every one of these experiences when you're away for a week or whatever it is it's like you uh, there's there's a there's this uh, bonding experience that kind of goes on because you're kind of all working together and. Uh, trying to make everything you know as best it can be and stuff like that and so that uh, alone has been just kind of an amazing aspect to all these and this and I mean that for, for a bunch of the trips that I've taken recently just this kind of um, you know people who are interested in the same thing and people who like you know and, and again are appreciative of what, what you do and so it's like uh, for me it's yeah the, the experiences of the last uh, year have been just absolutely amazing on so many levels and this is this is in that category as well.